Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and today I'm going to be a little productive woman, okay? So <laughs> I woke up at 8.30, which isn't, wow, crazy, but I feel like I can still get a lot done. I already started laundry and I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, let's just run down exactly what it is that I have to do today, okay? I have to go to the gym. I have to go get my armpits waxed. I have a meeting with a company that I'm doing an ad for on TikTok. I have to do laundry. I have to return something to Lululemon. I have to get supplies for my next YouTube video. Just go ahead and get them ordered because it's like a review type deal. Also create content for... I have a lot of stuff actually. It feels like a lot, but I feel like honestly once I start getting things done, like it's not going to be a lot. I also have a calendar upstairs. The boy got me a calendar so that... Um, I can stay on top of my job a little bit because sometimes it gets really hard just to stay on top of it The job's not hard itself. It's just hard to stay on top of it. Anyways, we're going to get some stuff done today I need to take my vitamins and Drink my protein shake. I just like having protein shake in the morning. I realize it just feels better I don't know. So that's what we're gonna do. This house is so like dark The second that I step away from these huge windows up in the front, I feel like it gets so so dark Oh wow I've never put you guys on the fridge before. I feel tall. Oh, I'm on my platform up, so that's why I was like, why do I feel so tall? If you are like me, you are dairy-free, gluten-free, and whey protein really hurts your tummy, or like in excess, it hurts your stomach. This, I actually really, really like this protein powder. It doesn't hurt my stomach. And for, if you wanna get into calories, 120 for 20 grams of protein, it's really good. I used to do a whole bunch of smoothies, but right now, Brady and I are actually trying to like lose literally like five to 10 pounds. That's it, nothing at all. Just for summer because I want to be like super cut and I've been going to the gym a lot and I'm really proud of myself because I've made it an entire like month and a half almost now of going to the gym and obviously giving myself rest days, yada yada. But like, I've never done this before. I've never stayed continuous with it because I feel like I'm gonna make my smoothie and then I'll talk. Basically what I was going to say is that I feel like whenever you're a student athlete all the way through high school, you know, like elementary, middle, and high school, and you're a student athlete, maybe even in college, the second that you stop doing that sport though, it's almost, you may, I think you have two reactions. There's two kinds of people. They're the ones who are only working out because it was in the sport that they were doing, and then there's other people who are going to continue working out because they truly love it and they want to keep up, you know, their endurance physique and health, whatever else. I was the first one where I was like, I was working out because it was fun and it was where I got to see my friends and it was social hour. I'm not competitive at all. So that was like not why I was even in sports, which irritated the hell out of my parents. But I was just a little social butterfly. Like that's all I wanted to do. And honestly, like finally getting back in the gym after four years of being out of the gym feels really, really good. And I'm finding things that I actually really like to do, which is really fun. So I'm a firm believer of it's like, it's not that you don't like exercising, it's that you either have a bad perception of it in your mind or that you just haven't found what it is that you like to do yet. Whether it's running, kickboxing, yoga, Pilates, weightlifting, hit exercises, cycling, I don't know, like Zumba. It's endless. Anyways, that's my little rant. But yeah. I'm just gonna make protein because if there's something I'm learning, if I want to put on any muscle, like I have to eat lots of protein. But yeah, so that's why I'm doing the like a protein shake in the morning. Plus, I don't like going to the gym feeling bloated, so I've noticed every single time that I eat, I end up bloated because I got that IBS. So went to my doctor, finally found out that's what I have. So gluten free, dairy free, and I have IBS. It's just like the holy trinity. My brain's going, what's next? You know. I just finished my little drink and then I also on my calendar today I had that I needed to post on Instagram so I just posted on Instagram which was actually from yesterday which is really fun and I am trying to honestly just like do more with my day to one entertain myself to like make myself happier because I've literally been depressed but it's fine and I like warm weather's coming around and I always get happier I just have seasonal depression so it's like really annoying but i'm trying to force myself to just go out and do things and then also at the same time like take little pictures of those moments and then have them either just for myself or to post as well so mm, i'm gonna put on my shoes and then we're gonna go to the gym we go break up then we make up act like we're gonna 
wanna be friends Place the fire, take me higher Leave it all over again, all over again I just got done at the gym and now I'm headed over to my wax appointment, which thank goodness is literally in the same shopping center as my gym. I would film more in the gym, but genuinely I don't feel comfortable in the gym yet. Um, and also like I don't feel comfortable enough sharing like my workouts as I'm still learning and I wouldn't want anyone to like I don't know, to base their workouts off of what I'm doing. So, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, but I hope that I'm not like too sweaty for my, um, like my wax specialist, because <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but it just worked out because it's all in the same shopping center, so I didn't want to, I don't know. I like the lighting in here, I'm so glad. I was scared whenever I got this car that I was like, it sounds stupid, but I needed to make sure that I could film in it. Um, just cause that's my job and I was like, is it going to be bright enough? And this, I mean, this goes back. So it'll definitely be bright enough once it's warm enough out. Even though today I think it's supposed to get to 70, 70 degrees. Anyways, let's go get my armpits waxed, which has really helped with the dark skin under my arms as well as if you do have thick hair, but are prone to grown like ingrown hairs or you have really sensitive skin. I'm Italian girl, so I have really dark, thick hair that's deeply rooted and shaving honestly just made it so much worse. So I'm glad that I finally started waxing. I started waxing probably almost like a full five, six months ago and it's been great. Absolutely great. I'm sweating because I didn't turn the air on in my car. Oh my God. I just got them waxed, so we're gonna look at them together. They were really red inside, because again, I got really sensitive skin, so they just kind of freak out on me. And I think, but I think it's good. They look so much better! They're still dark, and I'm still like working on getting the darkness to go away, but it's a work in progress, and I have imbalanced hormones, so I'm also working through that, which is like a whole thing. But that's why we're eating carrots today. <laughs> Trying to correct it through my diet and if that like really doesn't work, then I'll figure something else out, but I refuse to go on birth control. I'm I'm a lot happier now with my armpits than I was like 2 years ago and they look so much better because they're way less irritated. So if you're looking for your sign to start waxing, start waxing. This is your sign. yourselves <laughs> isn't that weird to know that that's just what i'm talking to sometimes i forget that i'm like not actually talking to people anyways i'm gonna take a shower real quick because i do have my meeting my hair is still gonna stay slipped back i'm just not in the mood to have it curly today i had it curly for the past like three days so yeah i'm going to just do a little body shower and probably do my makeup i just have mascara on right now but i'm probably just gonna wash my face i don't wash my face in the morning i only wash it right after the gym i've noticed that it helps and to make sure it's not that dried out. So yeah, just gonna hop in the shower and then get my makeup, put on a little bit cuter of an outfit to get ready for my Zoom call. Getting ready, doing some quick little makeup I still may do a little bit more but honestly today may just be like a no makeup day minus mascara my redness around my nose is beginning a lot better I've been using a sulfur acid um apparently it helps get rid of perioral dermatitis which is what I'm pretty sure I have I have an appointment with my dermatologist but they're so like you have to book so far in advance so I was like I'm just gonna try what I can myself and see if it helps Tatcha sent me their water cream so I'm gonna try it I know they give you the fancy little thingy my bob but it just seems so 
like working backwards to get it all out and then put it back in and it's still touching my face so what's the difference I bought new self tanners to try out because one of my goals this year is to not tan as much because I know it's not good for me <laughs> so but I really really love just being in the sun and soaking it all up and I tan very very fast again the olive skin tones from um, being Italian I get that from my dad and then my mom she is Irish which kind of works against it but <laughs> she's Irish Native American and also Italian so I definitely have a lot of tan skin in my jeans makes it really hard to not want to tan all the time I'm also like super chronically cold and so something about sitting in the sun just makes me feel really really warm obviously but it's like it almost gives me this warmth that nothing else can give me like no sitting under a blanket no taking a hot shower like the sun just energizes and just warms me up and I swear it like warms up my blood like it feels so weird but I love it okay time to hop on my claws um I don't know if you have like kind of a busy month or and then if you decide to put music in the background whatever kind of like testimonial style if you're comfortable doing something like that just finished up on the call it's really funny because I just literally sit here and I just hop on a call real quick on my phone but I just find it easier and also my big desktop it doesn't have a camera to it yet and I don't really know if I will get a camera for it it's just easier to do it on my phone and that way if I can I like I can screenshot things if I need to but yeah Brady bought me this little calendar so that I can um just honestly get better about planning and so I have it set up to right now I kind of go over what it is that I do I don't know what my hair looks like I was y'all saw me scrambling I was trying to figure it out but so yesterday I had a draft that was due for a company then I had a casting call with coca-cola which was really cool for my agency that was just on zoom then I have my instagram beauty account I needed a post to go up at one and then I have two TikToks to do. And then the little red asterisk means it's a content day, which means like any extra time that I have, I need to be putting towards getting ready and like actually doing good content, reviewing products or making TikToks, yada, yada. Then Tuesdays, I have my Instagram post that went live this morning. Then I have two TikToks that I gotta post, which I need to do that because I haven't done that yet. Um, my meeting at uh, 1.30, then I had my wax at 11.30. I need to film my YouTube video today so that I have plenty of time all week to get it ready to go so that I can actually start posting on Saturdays consistently. And it's also a content day, so anything extra if I can also film. Then Wednesday, we have another Instagram beauty reel that needs to go up by one. Then two TikToks, of course. Then, oh, I need to post a YouTube short because I'm trying to do those too. Then Brady put up there play pickleball with Brady, so I guess we're playing pickleball. <laughs> um, and then it's also a content day, so I also need to film as much as I can. And then Thursdays, we have my QuickBooks, so I basically need to go over all my finances for the week, make sure that everything is set up correctly. And then also two TikToks, of course, and then edit all day. So that is like my really, really big edit day. So any content that I've got throughout the week, I need to edit it all, edit the YouTube video. That's when I'll edit this YouTube video. And that way I can have it posted um, by Saturday. Friday, I just have another Instagram post, another Instagram beauty post, two TikToks. I'm actually happy that I kept that one blank because now I'm working for Wrangler for my agency back in Greensboro. So I will be busy that day. And then Saturday, I have another YouTube short that goes live. Also edit all day if I need to, but post. And then, or I guess I have my YouTube videos going on Sundays. Um, I don't know. Say in the comments what works best for y'all. Would you like to see them on Saturdays or Sundays? Because honestly, I'm kind of good with either. I feel like Sundays almost work better because that's like everyone's reset day. So if you're wanting to watch a video in the background, it works. Yeah. So now I'm going to, what do I even need to do? Oh, I need to go to Lululemon and return those leggings. I also need to hop online and just go ahead and get a whole bunch of, there's. I'm doing a little a little fun video. If you're on my Instagram, you may have gotten a sneak peek at what the video is, but that's going to be for like a few weeks from now because I'm trying to do things a week in advance. And yeah, it's I need products for it. 
there's a certain product I'm reviewing a whole bunch of products and so I need to go online and see either where I can get the products or if I have to you know get them delivered just to make sure that I've done everything with enough time I also got to stay on top of laundry today we got to do more laundry Ooh, my hip pops every time now every time I have like a compilation of all the times that my hip has popped on the screen so yeah this is my little office she's so cute she's so super cute I think I may do a little bit more makeup and then I'll be done Mm. Okay. So, juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh my goodness. Do I have any napkins? Oh my goodness, I don't. It's so juicy. What do I do? Little baby wipe. Okay. Anyways, found out the leggings. I thought I had bought them, but they're actually a Christmas gift. <laughs> I knew that I got them right around Christmas, but I did a huge, like, Lululemon shopping haul whenever I bought. That's when I bought like my sister's stuff, my mom some stuff, and then my dad some stuff for Christmas. So I thought I had just maybe got myself some, you know, for myself. But no, they're not. Those were some that my mom bought. So I had to call her and see if she had like the information or the date or anything of when she bought them. They may not give me a new pair, but they're so damn expensive to be unraveling in the first like few months of having them, you know? So I say, what's the harm in trying? So they were actually, oh, I'm gonna stop my car. It is too hot out here to be. I love that it's actually hot though. It feels so nice. They were able to fully exchange them, which was really, really great. I will say I found out it's called Quality Promise and I asked them how long does Quality Promise last? And they said it lasts a full year. And then right after that, she was like, I do need your ID though. So my guess is Either you have, because since my mom bought them, there wasn't an account that they were put on because she was like, I don't see these on your account. And I was like, no, my mother had bought them for Christmas, yada, yada. And she was like, do you have your mother's account information? I was like, no, I do not, but I have the credit card number and the date she bought them. Um, so anyways, quality promise lasts for a full year. And I think it covers a lot of different things. So I don't know what all it covers, probably like rips, tears, um, stitching that was for mine obviously stitching and I've heard some girls take them in for pilling the thing to do with pilling or anything that's like normal wear and tear if you are consistently bringing them I think they'll let you do it like the first time but she did scan my ID which makes me believe that it probably keeps a system somewhere of how many times you are coming in and giving this like I don't know how many times that you're coming in and like trying to return products essentially. So I think if they're consistently seeing that, you know, in the past year you've tried to return seven, eight, ten different products, they're probably gonna be like, hey, um, I think you're just trying to get new products because you wear these a lot. So that's what to keep in mind. So obviously, like, just be honest with it. It sucks that you wouldn't have to tell people that, but I think that's probably what it is. So just be honest with the product and then you won't have to deal with anything like that. I was being honest because it was literally falling apart. So it's kind of cool that they actually do that. I had no clue that Lululemon had a quality promise. So if you're really nice, expensive, <laughs> luxury little workout gear is falling apart for any reason, definitely take them in because it sounds like they'll just replace them. I also did though, because I had, I just, I had to. So I, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I did get these shorts. These are the Fast and Free Classic Short. These are in black. I have heard really, really great things about these and I also keep seeing them on a lot of people who run and I've started running again. I know I told you guys I started going to the gym, but I started running again and it's been really, really fun. So I also got them this color. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Kiana, that really washes you out. But with a summer tan, okay? With a tan, this would look really, really cute. So yeah, I got these. They just have the little it's like they have the shorts inside but the little cut goes all the way up to the waist which I find super super flattering and if you guys watch Renee on Instagram or I mean on TikTok she runs all the time she swears up and down by her Nike shorts and they have that slit and they're kind of like a little I don't know like folded up pattern if that makes sense like the stitching of it almost looks like the fabrics folded up but it has that cut along the leg all the way up to the waistband and it's so stinking cute and I was like these look a lot like that 
and I can never find those Nike shorts because they're always sold out, probably because of her. I hope she's getting her money on that one. But that's, that's it. I think my phone's about to overheat. So I am going, I have to go to Target. Target to go get the rest of the products that I need. We're gonna go see if they have any of the products, I should say. to go. Brady and I just went on a little walk around the neighborhood. We wanted to do a longer walk, maybe even run, but we just ran out of time because his parents are actually over on our side of town, so we're going to get dinner with them tonight. So he's showering, and I just got dressed. We're just, it's very casual, so just going to go and get some dinner with them. It's kind of early for dinner, but I'm also not used to the sun being up this long, because usually the sun is setting around this time. <laughs> 